Hey everyone, so a bit of a hitch with the last motor, not out of a vacuum, but it's a it's a big powerful motor. Uh, I did a test um, and it turns out I I can't I can't step up the voltage with this on this motor. Um, at about 40 volts um, the motor was actually pulling 8 amps out of the uh, my 10 amp variac here so um, I won't be able to over volt this motor very much however I do have it hooked up to the variac just not the transformer so and the variac can bring it up to 140 volts and I will be putting DC through this so that'll ramp the volts up even more so the odds this motor dying aren't very high but this motor's unloaded top speed at 120 volts AC is 55,500 so it, we still should see a very um, decent high RPM out of this and it's it's got a two speed switch on it down here I've got to set to low speed right now and we'll just see what that tops out at then I'll back the volts off a little bit and put it on um, high speed and then ramp it back up and see what she maxes out at if she does die that'll just be a bonus but if she doesn't we'll see what the RPMs peak out on on this so here we go Wow, something happened there. Okay, so I took the top off and I'm looking, trying to find where it's smoked, but um, I'm actually not finding anything. Your speed switch. She's, it's warm, but it's, it's not hot. Um, it still rotates just fine. No segments are missing out of um, the commentator in there. It's still, see that. And but um, so it looks like it would it looks like it would run again. But um, check it out. Turn this on now. Look, oh, it's drawing an awful lot of current for 10 volts. Something is definitely wrong with it. I had to replace the uh, 15 amp uh, fuse in my um, my variac. It blew, but no, something's. Something's definitely wrong with this. I'm, uh... I'll tell you what, I'll pause the video again, and I'll, I'll take the motor rate apart and see if I can pinpoint what the hell's going on. Alright, so I'm just taking the two screws out. Back sleeve, your rear bearing. And she's, it is warm. Let's see if I can get this off here. Hold on a sec. There's one brush. There's your other one. 
Okay. So I don't see I don't see much there. There's a black mark there, but that almost just looks like I don't know. It almost looks like rubbing, but if you look on here, there's no real spots of rubbing. That's that's just a balancing where they had to balance this armature a bit. But um, I I still don't see anything wrong with it. I mean the those bars look good. None of them are out of place. None of them are even raised up. And I don't even know where the hell the smoke came from. Everything looks fine. Um, I might do a little bit further investigating off camera, but um, if uh, if you guys want to uh, leave a comment, post your guess as to what what actually happened, where the smoke came from, um, go ahead. If I do find the actual cause, I will. Uh, um, I won't, probably won't post another video just about the cause, but I might actually leave the cause um, in the comments. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, uh, so um, I guess that's it for these batch of uh, motors that are driven to destruction. Bearings are actually good in that. I'll probably salvage the bearings. Um, so hit the like button, you liked it, subscribe, and uh, there will probably be more.